problems anywhere, anytime, anything you look for karma. Right? I, I love seeing you come, but it's so fun watching you walk away. <laughs> yeah. With those pants. Yeah, yeah, those pants. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he's a jack off. Totally jack off. <laughs> All right, so this is the time of the show now where we uh, start talking to people. Uh, and also, you know, a little segment I like to call Shame the Media. Ugh. Yeah, media. Ugh. <coughs> the worst, right? Does anyone even care about what the media says anymore? Ugh. 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 Well, it's good. You know, I know that Bruce Rauner's in, tr- he's in trouble for bullying a reporter. Did you see this story? Yes, I did. Yeah, you know why? Because he bullied him over the fucking phone. And bus, no phones. <laughs> I bully in person. You know what I do when I see a guy in the media? I shake hands and I hold it too long, and then I try to get taller than them. You know what I mean? You like, you like, you look down on him. You know what I mean? It's a power play. It's a power play. You let him know who's boss. So that's where he went wrong with that. Yeah. Asshole. Anyway, you know what we're gonna do? I, I got one of these Tribune guys who came around calling this this week. He called the office for a comment. Of course, I ain't talking to him on the phone. But I said, if you want, you can come. On Friday night to after to the office hours, open office hours, which are really from 5.15 to 5.20 every Monday at the office. So I told him to come down here and he can give us sort of like a world premiere of his piece, right? So we can kind of get it before it's supposed to be in Sunday's trip. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the stage Chicago Tribune columnist Eric Zorn. Okay. trying to bother me on Twitter all the time. So tell me about this piece. This is going to be in the Sunday trip. Is this going to be like in the lifestyle section? Maybe in the lifestyles next to the car well, section? I, I got a front page column this time. Oh, nice. Finally, Ed Bus on the front page. Yeah, they, they wanted the, headline. the headline is, you can't spell busted without Ed Bus. Yeah, okay, I, I don't get it. You get it? <laughs> he flipped it? Oh, he flipped it. I didn't even catch that. Okay. All right, so we thought that you could go ahead and read the piece so you guys can get it since you came a little bit earlier than it's going to be in the paper. So, uh, Eric, if you want to go ahead and read it, go ahead and read it, and we'll, uh, we'll hate it later. <laughs> the, uh, the, the little headline underneath it says, uh, The Astonishing Truth mm-hmm. About Chicago's Most Outlandish Alderman. It's like, sounds like sounds like a piece about Billy Deck, right? <laughs> okay, I'll start here. The intersection of corruption, patronage, and sleaze is in the heart of the Chicago's 53rd War. No, no, that's terrible. <laughs> there, veteran alderman Edward Ed Buss rules over a sinful fiefdom of ill-concealed graft and favoritism that continues the sh- to shock the conscience of even the most cynical Chicago. That's, uh, that's accurate. That's accurate. <laughs> Consider, Buss maintains a large ward services organization funded by generous annual, quote, donations from local businesses, many of whom have told federal investigators that they know of businesses that have refused to contribute and been hit with a blizzard of building code violations. First of all, we don't throw the word blizzard around. <laughs> in this town. Obviously, this guy's not from Chicago. Uh, you want to go with that word, go with that word. The website for this organization, buscommunityaction.edu, no. <laughs> contains the following staff list. Director, Doris mm-hmm. Buss. Mm-hmm. Vice President of Operations, Brad Buss. Brad, yeah. Vice President of Outreach, Randy Buss. Uh-huh. Vice President of Events, Gregory Buss. Uh-huh. Vice President of Services, Katie Podgorski Buss. Uh-huh. Vice she, President married, she married him, she's not a real Buss. <laughs> <laughs> Vice President of Communications, Sally Buss Body. Uh-huh. The phone number for Bus Community Action is disconnected, and messages sent to the contact <laughs> us email are return marked address not found. The most, recent annual, <laughs> the most recent annual report lists no expenditures by Bus Community Action aside from salaries, benefits, and a week-long staff retreat to Pheasant Run. That was a good show. <laughs> What's the guy? I forgot the guy's name, but he's the one who's like, you, you've been at Buffet for four hours. What's that guy's name? You know what I'm talking about? He's a fat guy, and he's like, oh, you've been at, you're too fat. Yeah, but, he just died. Oh. <laughs> 
That's too bad. You want to hear more? Yeah, it was a good show. It was a very good show. They had a talented comic. Last year, Pizza Hut opened on a residential street in the 53rd Ward. I'm bringing economic development to this area. The franchise agreement lists Frederick Freddy Bus as the sole proprietor. Mm -hmm. Parents were outraged three years ago when a gentleman's club opened in a vacant portable classroom on the grounds of Patty Elementary School. Bus promised during his most recent campaign to, quote, solve this problem 